Good morning everybody and here we go again Rebel Marketing Live. This is day two of the Op 100K if you're brand new just tuning in for the first time this is where I'm in a new system it's a it's a very powerful thing that I'm gonna roll out from day one through day 90 and I talked yesterday about the goals that I had set for it and the beginning things I did now I also did a very long live because apparently Facebook likes them longer. They say do them longer than 10 minutes so that they can add people in that can watch what you're doing and so on. Well, I, to me, that was, it was long. It was 23 minutes and I thought, who who wants to watch something for 23 minutes? It's, it, it's difficult to remain exciting or interesting, whatever, for me anyway, when I'm watching someone. So... I'm thinking maybe make them shorter anyway, regardless. <clears throat> Excuse me. And there's also the question of doing Periscope at the same time, which would require another setup for a camera and a tripod, or moving to Periscope. I seem to get better action on Periscope than I get on Facebook and had some about the platform. I really like it. So it may move over there. So if you're not following me on Twitter, so you can get the Periscope. That's going to be at Rocket and Rebel also, and Rocket is with an eye on um, Periscope. So today, what I wanted to talk about is what I'm going to do. I felt like I got held back a little bit yesterday because I was trying to find out exactly what was going on. And if you've been any kind of marketing for any length of time with more than one company, you will have seen where there are glitches and there are adjustments and there are improvements and it's a constantly evolving thing just like your marketing and I wanted to bring up this point which is why the <clears throat> second part of the title of this particular episode is called stay flexible you must stay flexible uh, theory of evolution you know the the species that can adapt the the quickest and the most effectively those are the ones that survive exactly the same in any kind of business I've ever studied and wow is it very important in marketing no plan ever survives contact with the enemy things are going to go wrong or it, you think they're wrong it's not exactly the way you planned but it doesn't matter you just have to continuously adjust that course and that's what I had to do because I'm trying to figure out exactly what's going on and okay there are some adjustments going on in the back does not matter see and I started to get upset I started to think you know why this why that okay no complaining no uh, thinking about the bad let's see this stuff happens I've seen it before no sweat let's go directly into the promotion of the things that you can do and you can build these things out so th I've got something like 25 opt-in funnels that I'm going to build today and it sounds like a big goal I know but when you're using I use a program called click funnels and it's very very effective at what I want to do it I'm aligned with how it works and everything and that's my chosen platform I've, I've built what I'm, I think I'm a little over 40 maybe about 40 funnels and uh, what's that? it's less than 30 days 30 days, whatever, man, five weeks, who cares? And over 100 pages, and I can't, I wouldn't have been able to do that, okay? Uh, things, to, the tools are moving along so fast, and this is one that I just absolutely freaking love, and that's what I'm going to be doing today while kind of the dust settles on this other stuff. As far as the email I talked about, I believe, yesterday, and it's a question of, I have two different already autoresponder providers. They're, they're both awesome. One I like more than the other. And I don't know whether I want to integrate that in or just go ahead and get another one. And so it fits exactly the way that they're pointing it out because it's weird, it, especially if someone is selling a program. Let's say ClickFunnels. I, I represent ClickFunnels as, as an affiliate. And let's say I'm doing that, but I'm using another platform. It's like selling cars. I, I sold cars for a while, and it's something that I read in Joe Girard's book, I think. And 
He says, if you're selling Mercedes, don't drive up to that dealership in a Chevy. Or if you're selling Toyotas, don't drive up in a Ford. Because it's weird. It, it doesn't really resonate. It doesn't make sense. And maybe you can t park your car someplace else. But here's the thing. If you believe in the product enough to represent it, to sell it, but you don't use it. And let's face it, folks. If you're doing something like this online, doesn't matter whether you're an affiliate, network marketer, writing and producing your own products, brick and mortar, it does not matter. It's personally, personality-based business when it comes to stuff like this. And you've got to protect your reputation and, and how you come across to people. And if I'm, if I'm telling you this, oh, how, how can you effectively do that? I, I can't. Anyway, that's one of the things. So that's one of the main reasons why I'm looking at, uh, okay, of, of the two that they've got hooked up right now as far as email providers, um, I like Get Response. That's probably the one I would probably use. It's still a little bit up in the air because I have to get this thing where, where once I begin promoting, all that stuff's got to be set up ahead of time. So right now I'm building out these pages and I'll turn them over to Rocket and she'll promote them on the, on the social pages and so on. So that is what I'm doing today, is building out all these opt-in funnels. And main point is remaining flexible. Because right now, there are certain things going on that are being adjusted, that are being improved. Uh, and that's okay. That should not stop you from moving forward. A lot of times it does, oh, it, you wouldn't believe or maybe you would, depending on how long you've been around, you would not believe people will get stopped by the simplest things. And it's even, it, say you don't know what to do, you come to a point at something and you're beginning to get frustrated, immediately quit and do something else. There's always something else that you can do. If it's like being a mechanic, I, I was heavy equipment mechanic for a long, long time, started in the army and so on. And there's a time that you, you're working on something Hey, you just can't get it right for whatever reason. And you just step off it, go have a snack or talk to your buddy for a few minutes and take a minute, get away from it. You come back, goes right together. And you're looking at it like, well, what was the problem before? And I don't know what it is. You get too caught up in things. You're focused on it too much at that point in time. And that's when you got to back off. Just do something else for a minute. Come back to this one. And things will run much more smoothly the better you get at doing that. And that's the points I had for today. I'm Rebel of Rocket and Rebel. And uh, be sure to look at us on Twitter so you see Periscope just in case I decide to flip this over there. Or maybe I'll do two cameras. That's something I'll talk about in the future. And as always, I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Enjoy the program. Leave a comment. I'm out.